J Drone here. What's going on, guys? Anybody remember that name? Drocon. Drocon Bugs 3 was the blue one. This right here. Check it out. This is what it is. Boom. I'm going to go ahead and pop that up. Drones in here. We'll go ahead and flop it, that out. Just like that. How are you going to fly it like that? We're going to pop their arms up and we're going to go ahead and put the hat cam on top. It's been a minute since I had this thing in there. I figured we'd get something completely different. Definitely foldable, not the traditional foldable that we are used to, but you should be able to see that. We're gonna go ahead and press the on button on the back here. Very proprietary charger, battery does not come out of it. Hold the center of this, throttle up and down. We should be bound. Hmm, there we go. Took it a minute. So we do have considerable wind, especially for something this small. Uh, everything's labeled on this really well. We are in the first speed setting. The wind's blowing that way, so we were kind of backpedaling into it. We'll go ahead and do a little spin here. Got a blue light on the front, two reds in the back, very small. Try to keep this a little bit closer to myself. We'll go ahead and go into second speed setting here. And then we'll go ahead and take it out and bring it back to ourselves here. And again, you have a blue light on the front for orientation, two reds in the back, which that's actually what I prefer. Any, any color light on the front and your reds in the back. Let's go ahead. We have a stunt feature right next to speed. We are still only in the second speed setting. There's your flip. Let's go ahead and bring it back. And there's a front flip. So the first one was actually a barrel roll back flip. And we're gonna go ahead and throw it in the third speed setting here. Boom, third speed setting. We're gonna run it down here and just to give a little range test. This thing is super small, so very easy to get away from yourself, especially when I think we have a super yaw. That'd be the second drone, second drone video in a row where we actually have a super yaw. That's not as crazy as I thought it was, but enough to get you out of orientation. Boom, we're good, we're good. Look at that, look at that, we're good. Talk about a recovery save. Talk about a recovery save. Guys, I'm Jay Drone. This is old school. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, what you waiting for? Questions, comments, concerns, put it down below. I'll definitely get back at you. Little guy flying. Yeah, so you do only have three speed settings. Up top right bumper, you also have a headless mode, which maintains your head of orientation. No matter how much you spin it, it will keep the same head. And then you also have a one key return, which is going to be very basic because there's no GPS on this. So it's going off of orientation from where you started. This thing zips. Direct feed motors, brush direct feed motors. And if you guys did not know, brushed motors are actually waterproof. Uh, brushless motors, however, are not. And again, this is something you literally can put in your pocket. If you get this controller in your pocket, you're good to go because the drone goes right with it. The drone goes right with it. Put the brakes on and then we'll go ahead and take it back. That's flying with the wind, back pedaling. This is going against the wind, going forward. The thing's got speed and oh, 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 I think we're down. I set it down. I set it down. Let's see if we can find it. Down and out. And we are good. Bam, so I think it was, I think that one motor was bound up a little bit um, to where it just shut down and wouldn't let you go up again. But as you can see, we are up fairly durable. That probably smacked against the ground pretty hard. I probably actually stepped on it once or twice trying to find it um, because I was looking a little bit further and so I watched the video over and over again. And again, we're in the first speed setting. A little bit of wind coming this way that it's flying against. You can see it kind of bouncing up and down. We'll go ahead and throw it into second speed setting as the wind was drifting it back. Second speed setting, you're able to fly into the wind. Again, a little bit of up and down. We'll go ahead and let it drift on back, drift on back. We are in the third speed setting. Considerable pitch, not much bouncy up and down. Things able to cut right through it. Actually really happy I found this. I was uh, pretty upset that I lost it. And we lost it in some pretty thick bamboo. So uh, there was a lot of, lo lot of, a lot of things going on for me to actually find it. And again, I had to watch the video over and over and over. Unfortunately, it's pretty cool with the GoPros. You could look at the media without even downloading it. And again, the only thing with this, you must like my last drone that I uh, did a review on was uh, the spin in the third speed setting can make this thing a little bit tough to fly. But if you uh, 
if you get a feel for it, we kind of rip around with it. Guys, I'm J Drone. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, what you waiting for? Ain't nobody else doing it. I guarantee ain't nobody else doing a review on this anytime soon, if ever, if ever again. A lot of the guys, they just grab the drones. Yeah, let me get a drone, free drone. Let me put this up on the YouTube channel for the views. Wasn't really feeling it. Man, I kept a lot of the stuff that I was feeling. Again, this thing, throw this in your pocket. You're good to go. Only drawback, which I will note right now, is the color. If you lose this in brush, if you lose this in weeds, it's probably going to be lost unless, unless you are really, really dedicated on finding. I might have an LVC beeping. Uh, not beeping, but lights. No, we don't. This battery is doing good. Like, I think we got about a good three minute, three minutes on it before we crashed. And I'm surprised it's not blinking right now. Again, durability, I guarantee the thing smacked it ground pretty hard because one of them propellers was bound up the first time we tried to throw it up. A little funnel action for you guys. That blue's crispy. You concentrate on that blue, keep your orientation real good. The red, unless you're at the right level, you almost have to be eyesight with it to see it. The blue, however, I can see that blue for all the way from back here. It's a little, woo, easy there. It's a little LED, so you can kind of see it 360 degrees around versus these red lights, which are very inset in the body, so you almost have to be parallel with them. Like I was trying to get on the camera. Go ahead and, uh, do a little flippy, look, a little front flip, get barrel roll, barrel roll, fun flyer, fun flyer, great range, again, only drawback I'm going to say about this is uh, the color, but alright guys, this battery is still cooking, I'm going to go ahead and sit down just because I'm not sure when I'm going to fly this again, and it's better to have a little bit more of a charge than a little bit less of the charge, but my go-to as far as storing batteries and storing drones with proprietary batteries, that are inside that you can't even change. Um, I mean, you could change it with a little know-how. It's just to bring it down when that starts flashing or just about before. I feel no battery sag. Again, really impressed with how well this battery's held up over the, there we go. We actually have LVC chirp. So it's pretty cool that I held out that long. There's your drone. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Questions, comments, concerns, put it down below. Nice little hand catch. I'm J Drone, later.